Please stay tuned for what I'm about to show you. It gets interesting. Now, I found something fascinating. So to start, Hollywood has been proven to be full of secrets and surprises. You never know the motive of people. With that said, I think that people who cast Amber may possibly know exactly what they're doing. Now again, please stay tuned through this whole video to listen to the incredible unraveling. So to start, Amber Heard played a very mentally ill character in a movie called The Ward, which was directed by John Carpenter. And this movie came out in 2011. Now this movie takes place in a mental asylum where Amber's character is far from sane. Now again, hold on to that thought and be sure to remember it because it gets better. Now before the movie The Ward, Amber was in the movie titled Never Back Down, which came out in 2008. Amber is seen in an interview behaving a bit off the charts for the press for this movie. You know, it's, it's so important. Um... Hold on one second. No problem. Uh, Courtney, yeah. I can't, I, I really, I can't do this if people are coming in and out of the door. It's okay. really distracting. Okay. Extremely. I'll tell them. Thank you. Do you want to start it? We'll start again? Yes, that would be oh, great. Okay. I'm sorry, I keep holding. No, that's you okay. Know, now that begs the question, is it possible that Amber was chosen as the main role in the film The Ward because the director, John Carpenter, knew she had a short fuse and maybe saw that interview and felt that she would be able to pull off the insanity well in this film? And is it possible that her behavior led to her to gain other similar roles? Just all around the idea of, oh, did maybe, maybe people in Hollywood kind of knew her behavior. But wait, I'm not done yet. John Carpenter has worked on the Stephen King adaptations, both The Thing and Christine. Stephen King's TV show, The Stand, has Amber Heard also playing a character with serious psychological issues. So if you're following along... I'm curious, did John Carpenter know the truth about Amber's mental state back in 2011? And did he pass a casting suggestion on to Stephen King and the creators of The Stand because of Amber's unbalanced behavior? I mean, if you need a plumber, it's best to hire a plumber to do the job, right? So maybe these people thought, well, if you have an unstable character, you might as well use an unstable actress. So in the end, the theory I am proposing is this. I believe that it is possible that news traveled fast through Hollywood about Amber and that it is very possible she was chosen for these parts for a reason. Again, I know this is a theory, but I did just give several reasons why it may be true and I will throw those links down below. So while yes, it is a theory, it could be possible. Now let me know what you guys think about this. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.